hectic. <gasps> Welcome back to today's Hectic 99. If you just join us, Kiki Val Vaz J. It's all about a hashtag Hectic Fear. Now, just before the break, I told you guys I'll be sitting down with our Dr. Darren, who will be giving us a lowdown on pet allergy. So, welcome to Hectic 99. So Thanks lovely very much. having you here. Thank you. It's good to be here. Now, before we get started, I want to test your knowledge a bit on phobias, right? Okay. Do you all know what amethophobia is? Another... It's the fear of what? What do you think? Amethophobia. Phobia. And those phobias all have pretty weird names. I don't actually know that. Amethophobia is the fear of dust. There you go. As Jenny, I'll find fear soon. I'm And I'm sure you also have a phobia. You just mentioned it, which is? Yes, I, I have a fear of getting lost. Wow, what do you call um, that? And that's called mazophobia. Mazophobia. Like getting lost in a maze. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Guys, hop into Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what the phobia here, Jay. No, that's what we say. Hashtag hectic fear. Now, Dr. Darren, you are here to give us the lowdown on pet allergies. Yeah. Now, before we get started with that, please, for our viewers who don't know, what is an allergy exactly? So, an allergy is an abnormal immune response to a certain trigger that someone else wouldn't have a funny response to. So, okay. like people who get hay fever, they sniff a bunch of flowers and yeah, yeah. their nose explodes. Um, oh, wow. Well, their nose just starts to run. But, uh, so, and you or I might not have the same reaction. So, it's, a, it's an abnormal reaction mm. to a, a fairly normal stimulus. Okay, now today is National Cat Day in the United States of America, and this is where they actually urge people to adopt a cat and give them homes. Now, I know a lot of people have cats in the house, and they're also always complaining, oh my word, it gets sinus, it gets sinus, but then they don't even know they are allergic to the cats in Absolutely. the house. Sure. Please take me through that allergy, and exactly what are you allergic to? Is it the hair? Is it the smell of the cat? What exactly? Yeah. So interestingly, it's, it's actually the saliva of the cat. It's, oh, not, wow. it's not the fur, the fur um, but the problem is that cats lick themselves, they preen themselves, they clean themselves, so their saliva is everywhere on them. Uh -huh. So when you pick up your cat or you touch the place that the cat has been, you're actually being exposed to the saliva and that is giving you an allergy. So what in the saliva is the thing that actually gets you reacting? So there's a, there's a particular protein um, in, the, in the saliva that for people who have an allergy to it, mm -hmm. uh, that is reacting with their immune system. Oh, wow. And their immune system recognizes something really bad and it provokes this horrible reaction where they get itchy eyes and runny nose. So even if you get a hairless cat, you'll still have an allergic yeah, reaction? I mean, you'll have a lot of sunscreen on your hands and not, uh, you still have your allergies, unfortunately. Oh, wow, okay. So then, cat allergies, dog allergies, are there any difference? And then what are some of the difference between the two allergies? So the... The dog allergies, people are reacting to different stuff. So it okay. is actually dog hair plus the little flakes of skin that come off the dog's skin. Oh, wow. Um, which is called dog dander. Uh, and actually, people have a less nasty reaction to, to dogs than cats mostly. So okay. most people have a worse reaction to cats than dogs. Um, oh. But uh, the actual experience of the allergy is probably the same. So okay. uh, you can't really tell the difference with uh, looking at someone. And then I also know a lot of people will be like, Ikani, ani fusaraki, because I have an allergy, I'm allergic to fish. Yeah. Are they actually allergic to the fish or the surroundings of the fish? Yeah, so it's it's actually not the, the fish, if you're keeping fish as a pet, that's a problem. So a parcel doesn't count. Like no. a snook parcel, you can still eat that. You can still eat okay. that. So <laughs> the problem is if you're keeping fish as, uh, fish as a pet, okay. it's the, the, the pet food. Oh, that you're wow. To. So there's a so. chemical within the fish food that actually causes the yeah. allergic reaction. The so people can still have fish as pets, uh -huh. but they uh, might need to change what they're feeding it with. And that's probably very difficult to find as well. Yeah, not so easy. Now, please tell me, Doctor, what are some of the symptoms one needs to look out for for you to make to look, or for you to actually realize that you have an allergic reaction to the pets that's within your house? Sure. So, if you have pets or you walk into a room with pets and suddenly your eyes are itchy and streaming and your nose is running and you start sneezing and maybe you might get a, a red itchy rash. Okay. Or if you've got asthma, you start coughing or, or wheezing. Uh, then you are probably allergic to the pet or something on the mm -hmm. pet. Awesome, and what can you do in order for you to control it? Can you control um, an allergic reaction or are there any cures for it? So, uh, cures are harder but they're definitely possible, but it takes time and it's, a, it's an immune treatment, so okay. you have to see a doctor to do it. Uh, but most people who love their pets, they don't want to give up their pets, 
uh, they tend to take antihistamine tablets or use mm. nasal sprays because okay. they, they don't want to get rid of their pets. They love their pets. Lovely. Well, Dr. Darren, thank you so much for chatting to us. I don't know if you can buy it for your pet, but now I don't know if it's allergies for cats or allergies for hunde or allergies for fish. Hectic.